Right, Si. Si. Hiya. Yeah. I've just been over to Mum's place and put the heating on. There's nothing worse than coming back to a cold empty flat, is there? I think we both know that. Did you get any sleep last night? No, I reckon I'm getting out of the habit. Simon, this is serious. Yeah, well, I just can't seem to switch my mind. All these pictures keep floating into my head. And all these voices. Mums. Tiffs. Still look on the bright side. At least they've got no problem getting up in the mornings. Ooh, you left the club pretty smartish last night. What happened? Something upset you? You'd be upset. You oh. knew you was a laughing stock. You what? No matter. Now, you can't say that and then say it doesn't matter. Well, I just did. They're all doing it, you know. All the square. All doing what? Fucking fun at me behind me back. They think I don't realise what they're saying, but I do. Well, who said what about you last night? Well, all I'll say is that, obviously, someone has been gossiping. What about? Me and that Valentine card. Oh, well, it wasn't me, so don't look at me like that. Yes, well, it ain't fair, cos I ain't got a crush on no-one. Oh, so someone's been saying that you've got a crush on Jeff. Yeah, see the trouble you've caused? I didn't mean any harm. I really like Jeff. And now, thanks to you, I don't know if I'll ever be able to look him in the face again. Wait a minute. Where are you off to? We're going shopping. Well, this time in the morning. Oh, well, yeah, why not? Liam was awake, I was awake. He's in a good mood, so I thought we the most here. Really? Yeah. Anyway, I want to check on Simon and make sure he thinks we're out of the stall. I'm surprised you're feeling so bright this morning. Didn't exactly get much kit last night, did you? I was listening out for the baby. Liam only woke up once. Maybe that's why he's in such a good mood, then, eh? Yanka. See you later. Yeah, Wednesday. Ooh, no, I don't know about the numbers, but but, but at least 20. Yeah, I, I, I'll confirm as soon as I can. Right. Bye-bye, then. So, how are you, all right? Well, I'm rushed off me feet. I've just been on to the caterers about little Leon's christening. Nina seems to think that Ricky was fixing it some sort of surprise. Yeah, I know, Peggy. I heard. Look, darling, why don't you go upstairs and put your feet up for a while, eh? Hold on, Frank. If I don't sort out those numbers with one of them, we're not even going to start getting things ready. But, sweetheart, Peggy, the christening isn't till next week, you know. Who told you about this christening? Sonia! What's your plan at? But if you see her, tell her I want a word, yeah? See you later. Yeah. Are you feeling any better? Oh, do I look any better? Well, you look like Danny. That's how I feel. No, I feel worse. Oh, don't worry, Mum's popped out. Well, how many did you drink last night? I wasn't drinking. What time is it? Oh, she be a college. Not looking like you do, I don't think so. Do something. Oh, your mum said you were in here. Did Sarah stay with you last night? I mean, Tony said you left a salsa class together or something? Yeah, she did. Oh. Oh, she told me to call you first thing before she went off to college so you wouldn't worry. But I forgot. Sorry. But she's all right, though? Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, it's just we got talking and then it got late and she didn't want to disturb you. Oh. That's all right then. All right, I'll see you. Ta da! Bye. Thanks. Anytime. What time are you arriving? What are you doing here? Next time you go shopping, take your purse. Well? I saw Simon last night. He said first thing about nine. So you thought you'd be here? I just want a quiet word, Ricky, that's all. Put her straight on a few things. And what about Simon? Before she sees Simon. Mum? Mum? It's a bit late for that, isn't it? Oh. I don't believe this. Changed your hair. Yeah. Um, I've put the heating on, but I don't think it's warm yet. 
Uh, do you fancy a coffee first? I've left Tony mind in the stall. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Pat didn't deliberately hurt her ankle, you know, Ian. I don't care if it was deliberate or not, it's left me in the lurch, isn't it? Well, I'll pass on your kind expression of concern to my wife when I see her, shall I? You can't run that place on his own. What am I going to do? Are you OK? Yeah. It's probably just the train journey. All those people crammed together always puts my teeth on itch. Yeah, well, you've been really funny since we sat down. It's strange being back here again. All these memories. Not many of them good ones, either. Please? Ian? So you're back then? Oh, nice to see you too. Yeah. Uh, look, you may as well know I, I had to let your job go. That's fair enough. I know I left you in the lurch. I didn't know what was going on. Oh, well, her daughter just died, didn't you hear? Look, it's not that I'm not sympathetic. This is your idea of sympathy, is it? You're late to your ruthless side. It's, oh, it's all right, sir. No, it, it was business. It wasn't personal. Yeah, understood. Lighten up, will you? You'll watch someone sees me. You changed since last night. You didn't give a monkeys in that club. Yeah, that's because I was out of my head. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> you know, it all felt a bit weird last night. You know, like it was happening to someone else. You even got Steve to buy you drinks. Mm. Yeah, being here feels a bit odd too. I forget about college. No, no, it's not that. It's me and you. Talking. This isn't some ploy to convert me, is it? Oh, yeah, any minute now all the hard nuts from the church are going to come and join us. <laughs> Stop putting me up against the urn and make me recite the Ten Commandments. <laughs> We should go out again sometime. There's plenty of good clubs around and loads of Steve lookalikes. Oh, come on, Sarah, I've been bored out my brains lately. Bianca's been really good about me in the store. Can we get out of here? Busy? Nothing that can't keep. You been for a walk? Because it's such a nice day. It's freezing. Oh, I just needed to get out. Peggy. Went down the hospital yesterday. I had a mammogram and a biopsy. And? I get the results next week. All of a sudden, a few minutes ago, I, I just couldn't stay in the vic. You must be worried sick. Everyone says it's going to be all right and I've got nothing to worry about. Everyone? Well, Frank, he doesn't really understand. He keeps going on and on about this wedding as if he's got some magic wand that he can wave and it's going to make everything OK. You understand that. I know that. You've been through it all. Frank, well, he's never had a daisy on his in his life. I'm going to see the doctor myself next week. First time since I came off the drugs. Not a bit risky. Couldn't take the side effects. Looks like we've both got a fair old time ahead of us, eh? Good luck, Peggy. So you never checked it? What are you talking about? Well, what's the point of investing in one of these detector machines if you're not going to use it? Oh, sorry. Where are you these days, Irene? I know where I'd like to be. Anywhere but here. Well, look, all I'm saying Do is... Do you practice? Do you stand in front of the mirror and say, I'm going to act like a grade-A plonker today? Irene! If all I'm going to get is criticisms from you, you can sort this shop out yourself. Look, you can't leave me on my tod. I've got to go down to cash and carry. Tough. Did I deserve all that? I should never have left you like that, Simon. I'm sorry. It was wrong. Mum. It was just... It's good to see you. Is that it? That's it. You are letting me off lightly, aren't you? Yeah, well, if you want the truth. After the funeral, I hated you. But afterwards, I understood why you couldn't deal with things, and... Well, that's sort of been my problem these last few weeks. And that's why I really don't want us to fall out. I still should have been here for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Look, 
Look, it's OK. I've, I've had people looking out for me. Tony's been really good. As a friend. Has even dragged the doctor round here. Oh? No, there was no need. It was just typical Tony fussing about nothing. So what did the doctor say? That I should get back to work. And that I should see a counsellor. You do look tired. But things will be better now. Now that you're here. For a bit, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. <sighs> They're working their way around the square. I've just seen them talking to Lenny. Yeah, I told you. The police want to talk to everyone who was in here that night. Listen, I've been thinking. Why don't I get away for a bit? Do what? You told them I've gone to see Mum and Dad. You go away now, it's going to make them want to talk to you even more. I'm going to blow this, Steve, I know I am. There is nothing to blow. I keep telling you. You just got to tell them the truth. Are you stupid? No, no, listen to me. You tell them you saw her, which you did. That you hardly spoke to her, which you didn't. And that she seemed uh, pretty upset, which she was. And you can tell them all of that with a completely clear conscience. What happened next gets a bit tricky, doesn't it? Yeah, well, that's the bit you leave out. Hello? Hang on. Can I come down? Yeah, come in, Barry. I don't suppose anyone handed in a pair of shades last night, did they? Shades? Yeah, you know, sunglasses. Yeah, I know what shades are. What's the problem? Uh, lights in here a bit bright for you last night, were they? No, sorry, Barry. I haven't seen them, mate. So the old Southard class didn't hit the spot then? Well, you were hogging the only two decent women in the room, weren't you? Sarah and Teresa. Sorry about that, mate. What's the matter with him? Yeah, he's got hangover. I'm glad someone had a good night, anyway. Go on, then. In a minute. Sonia, what is the point of putting low lights in your hair if no-one's going to see them? It's high lights. We'll see. You've had your out on so much today, I've forgotten what you had done. Well? Look, relax. It looks really good. I hope Bianca thinks so. Mm, so what if she doesn't? She's not your mum. Thank goodness for that. Bianca's hundred times more scary than my mum. Oh, she can't be any scarier than mine. She's still on about my belly button ring. Yeah, well, Bianca can't really have a barney at me. Not now I've sorted Chris in for her. There you are. Well? Well what? What do you think of your sister's hair? What am I supposed to think of it? Do you like it? No. You haven't even noticed anything different, have you? She looks as ugly as ever to me. Oh, thanks, Rob. Listen, have you seen Bianca? No. She's on the wall path. You mean she knows? Yep. Who told her? I think it was Peggy or it could have been Nina. I ain't seen Peggy or Nina. How would they know about me highlights? What are you talking about? My hair. What are you talking about? The Kristen. Bianca's not happy. So how are you then? Been better. I haven't seen you around for a bit. I've been away. Try not to think about anything. Yeah, I know what you mean. So, how about you? I've had some good news out here. The wedding? Just thought, why not? You never know what's around the next corner, do you? Make the best of what you've got while you've still got it. Matthew Rhodes. This is I miss. Can I have a word? Yeah. But oh, don't worry, you're not in any kind of trouble. It's just some routine inquiries. Right. Oh, Bianca, any chance of some time off tomorrow? Me and my mum are going to go to Giuseppe's and have some lunch. Well, I didn't mind before, but don't you think you've had enough time off already? Especially just to go for lunch with Louise. Well, I haven't been here much lately, but I've had a few problems, you know. All right. What's that there, guy? Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I just didn't think. Yeah, but it's weird having me mum back. I'm really pleased and everything, but he's making me remember a lot of things that I don't really want. Yeah. So, do you recognise a young lady? Is that a yes or a no? Well, you get women like that down in club all the time. But this particular young lady was the boss's girlfriend. They had a blazing row the night she disappeared. Now, that would make her stand out in a crowd, don't you think? Yeah, but I was working juggling records and having to listen to all kinds of requests. 
the thing else goes out the window. Well, it's a shame you didn't see her. You're one of the few people in a good position to see what happened. Still, if you remember anything, give us a call. Yes? Sarah, I saw you leaving the club with Teresa last night. Mm. I uh, don't think she's the sort of company you should be keeping. But it wasn't that long ago that you actually thought she was all right, Tony. <laughs> well, that was until I found out what she's really like. She ain't your type, Sarah. Well, maybe I've changed. For the worse, if you're taking up with her. Oh, look, just get off my case, Tony, all right? You're not Dad. <sighs> oh, good. Sarah. I want to work with you. Oh, not you as well. Look, I've just had Tony doing his heavy number, all right? Oh, so he's worried too, is he? Oh, this is getting ridiculous. That's exactly what I've been thinking. What's wrong with her? She blew up in the shop at me earlier for no good reason. I mean, what is it? Do you know? No, I don't. Just leave. Just leave. Hi. Oh, thanks, Dot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, get it over with. What? Well, I know I'm in trouble, so go on, start shouting. What are you on about? Christmas. Oh, yeah, I was going to talk to you about that. I was only trying to help you, babe. Be a good godmother. I mean, with everything you've been through lately, I thought you might appreciate it. Sonia. There's so much to do, the guests to grab, even things for the vicar to say. You're angry with me, aren't you? No. Yeah, you think I've been interfering, don't no, you? No, I don't. Well, Robbie said you was on the warpath. It's only because I didn't know who was doing it all. Well, now you know it's me, that's all right. Sonia, I'm really touched. Yeah? When I think about the families round here, it's good that we look out for each other. I'll help you fold these up. Hi, what have you done to your barnet? Like, oh, yeah. You're right? <laughs> Dot! Uh, you got a minute? Stick another one in there, please. Are you deaf or something? It's all right. It's all right. I'll sort it out. Come on, Matt. Where are we going? Out of here. I want a drink, Steve. Yeah, well, let's go to the club. I'll get you a drink over there. Robbie, I've got a proposition for you. Oh? The cat. That can't work in the next few days. How would you feel about stepping in? And you call that a proposition? I was looking for something more permanent. Well, you never know. Pat's looking at cutting back on her hours. How about it? I saw Mason. And, and he's asked around. No one knows anything. End of story. It's not quite the end of the story for us, then, is it? What do you mean? Well, it's still in here, isn't it? I keep thinking I see her walk through the market, turning the corner. Forget about it, man. It's all over. This will never be over, Steve. <sighs> Come on, let's go and have that drink. Don't touch me, all right? I'll do my job. But you can forget all this mates together act. I've done your day work and I've kept my gob shut. Now you stay out of my life. Oh, thanks, Doc. This is a, uh, it's a little bit delicate. When people say that, they usually mean embarrassing. Actually, it is a bit, yeah. Yeah, well, let's not bother then, eh? You what? Well, I mean, I'm sure you don't want to be embarrassed, and I know I don't. I thought we were friends, Doc. Yes, but I mean, things have been a bit... Um... Well, I need a bit of help from a good friend right now. Of course, if it's too much trouble. Help? With Lily. Look, Jeb, let's start again, cos I think maybe we got our wires crossed. Well, it all started with this Valentine's card. Oh, well, in that case, maybe we ain't got our wires crossed. She sent me one last week, you see. She did? Yeah. And ever since then, she... She hasn't left me alone. She comes up to me and, and, she, and she talks to me all the time. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like her. She's good company. But it's no more than that. Certainly not as far as I'm concerned. And you're worried that she might think it is? Well, I don't want to hurt her feelings. I mean, they're not easily mended at our age, are they? So, I was just wondering if you would have a quiet word with her. Put her straight. I'll see what I can do. Peggy! Mystery solved. What? It was Sonia, the christening. She's been sorting everything, guests, speeches, catering, the lot. 
That girl amazes me sometimes. Oh, that's really sweet, Bianca. So it doesn't seem very nice not to go through with it after everything she's arranged. So Wednesday will be fine. Well, I've already been onto the caterers and I was wondering about having the place decorated. You know, balloons, streamers. Oh, there's no need to go to all that trouble. Well, how many times in your life do you get christened? And listen, Peggy. Yeah, I know. There's no need to say, Bianca. Let's make it a fresh start. What's the matter? Has somebody else been having a go at you then? No. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> it's my turn now. Hey. Bianca was telling me all about Sonia. Yeah, I've been on to the caterers. I'll fix the numbers. Anything I can do to help? No, not really. She was also telling me you want to decorate the pub, is that right? Yeah, well, I'll nip down the cash and carry at the weekend and pick up some stuff. Yeah, but I can do that, it's no problem. Which is why I'm doing it myself. He thinks you've been following him round. I'm just trying to be nice to him, that's all. Maybe you was trying to make mischief. You what? Trying to stir things up a bit. Why would I want to do that? Maybe you secretly want to get close to him yourself. Come again? You got a crush on Jeff. I haven't. Well, that's what everybody else is going to think. Mum, what are you doing in at this time of night? No, oh, I just wanted some peace and quiet. Good night last night? Yeah, it was. You should have told me you were staying at Tracer's. Yeah. We well, should have come. I told you. Yeah, yeah, I know you weren't in the mood. So, have you seen Dr. Fonseca yet? Not yet. You promised? Yeah, well, I just said that to shut you up. Mum? I I'm okay, there's no point. Yeah, well, Terry doesn't seem to think you're okay. Terry doesn't think, full stop. But it gave me the impression that things have been really difficult between you two lately. Um, well, I wondered if you were depressed. Hang on, I've been a bit down lately, but that's hardly surprising. Well, will you talk to me, please? I'm really worried about you. I don't want to talk about you. And if you won't talk to me, then at least talk to Terry. Him? Oh, do me a favour. Mum, look. Shh, just... Mum, you're going to have to do something to shake yourself out of this. Done it. Done what? Join that agency. What, the dating agency? Shh. Tell everyone my business. So, so what made you change your mind? Sit down. Last night, I thought things can't get any worse than that, can I? Yeah, so what'd they say? Well, they wanted a few details, you know, so I gave them me height. Yeah, what'd you tell them? 6'2". <laughs> On tiptoes, mate. No, me boots. You know, me weight, you know. Twelve stone. <laughs> and the rest! Mate, if I had my breath, I told them all about my job and that. Yeah, so what lies did you tell them about that? Do you want to hear this or not? Oh, go on. So what happens next? When do you start meeting some girls? I have to see the owner and get vetted. Vetted? Yeah, she wants to meet me. What for? To make sure I'm not a nuts. Well, how's she going to do that? By looking at me, Ricky. I've got something for you. Oh, hello, Lois. Hi. I was just saying, I'm really glad that my mum's decided to stay for a while. I'm just glad you want me here, after everything. Of course I do. Well, how about going and unpack? See you tomorrow afternoon, yeah? Yeah, as long as Bianca gives me the time off. <laughs> yeah. See you, miss. What's that? A new pub. Looks a business, don't it? Well, you're checking out the competition. Well, it's hardly competition, Don. It's the other side of the West Street. Mm. I thought we might pop in here tomorrow. Says here, does wonderful food. Mm. Just what I need on a night off, swapping one wall for boozer for another. All right, then, uh, what do you fancy? Why do I have to go anywhere? Hey, why don't we catch a show? Oh, Frank, you don't understand, do you? You just can't blot something like this out. It's there every minute of every day, whether I'm here or in some posh restaurant. Yeah, well, I'm going to just, you know, just try to help. Hello? Thanks for calling, love. 
Well, what are they? I found them in the bathroom cabinet. They're nothing dodgy or illegal. They'll help you sleep. They're tranquilizers. My mum takes them now and again. Oh, I don't know. Well, they really help her relax. I heard her tell Terry. These things can be really addictive, can't they? There's not enough there to start getting you hooked. I don't really fancy another night staring at the ceiling. Any more of them and all this good work you're doing, all this getting out, facing the world. It ain't gonna mean a thing. Not if you're half dead through lack of kip. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Bianca! You've got a nerve showing your face around here. I'm not running away from anyone. Yeah, well, I can see that. I'm here for Simon. Oh, lucky boy. No, he's not been that lucky, no. No, no. Especially not in his choice of a mother. I'm here to look after him. What, like you looked after Tiff? I can't undo what happened, Bianca. If Tiff knew what sort of person you was, she'd have turned away the minute you showed your cheating face. What's the point you're doing this now? You're trying to make me feel worse than I do already. Well, forget it, Bianca. Cos no one could do that. But what are you chasing after me for, then? What do you think we're gonna do? Kiss and make up? Forget it! No. All I want now is what's best for Simon. Well, you can do that. By going. Cos, I mean, if Simon finds out what happened... Simon's ill. Anything could tip him over the edge. So tell me, are you gonna be the one to do it? Tragedy looms as Andrew and Sam try to save an injured man from a fast-flowing river. Peak practice is next this afternoon here on Drama.